Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I uh, just want to do a video. Most of what I've done here the last little bit has been like my cell phone videos that I have did while out at either you know a BLM protest or we documented a uh, local Trump rally whatever you want to call it. This is a little bit different. As you know, all of us have been kind of locked down for a while with with uh, quarantine and um, the stay-at-home orders that a lot of states had. I was on it for quite a few months. I am back at work now, but I did something with my time with my time off while I was around the house, and I kind of wanted to share it with you a little bit. So while I was off, I chose to write, and what you may not know about me is one of my big passions in life. The only thing I've really ever wanted to do professionally uh, that I've ever had a passion for was writing. Now, I'm not going to claim to be some Stephen King um, <laughs> because those are big shoes to fill. But I do like to write. That was what I did during the time off. Um, the book, which I'm going to pull up my phone, which is now out for purchase. It is on Amazon, which I will provide a link. But this is the cover, which you may have seen in our little graphic, and I'll provide a close-up shot of it. You'll be able to see as well. But it's called The Grove, and um, I want to read. It's a little bit easier for me to read, probably. Well, actually, it'll be easier on the book. So on the back of the book, this gives you a little bit of a summary of what the book is about, so bear with me. 20-year-old college student Lexi Moreau feels like the outcast in her and the embarrassment of her small southern town. Attending a conservative Christian college and being the transgender stepchild of a local pastor isn't the most welcoming of revelations in Pinehurst. Still living at home, her unsupportive stepfather Charlie rules his house with an iron fist while her mother often concedes to his demands. The one bright spot in her the one bright spot is her eccentric grandmother, Olivia Moreau. Olivia is everything Charlie hates. Free-spirited, headstrong, open-minded, and decidedly not Christian. While Oli when Olivia dies, Lexi is left with everything her grandmother possessed. A tiny New Age bookstore and adjoining apartment and the mysterious burnout remains of the old family homestead. As her college and home life continue becoming more and more contentious, Lexi sees her way out, the old bookstore willed by Olivia. The town is nearly two hours away from Pinehurst, perfectly suited for her to strike out on her own. Not only is the reopening of Moreau Books less than wonderful news for the more conservative town folk, there is also something dark, lingering, over Oak Grove. As women throughout the town are abducted, Lexi finds herself the target of both a dark entity and a small town looking for anyone to blame. Worst of all, it seems her time is running short. As she battles her demons, both metaphorical and literal, she must pull a small town from the brink of disaster and save the new love she's finally found. So again, the book is titled The Grove. Um, it is a little different in that we have a transgender lead character, but her being trans is not the be-all of the story. Um, it's, it's an aspect of her identity, but it's not everything. And that was something I really wanted to drill down. Because in a lot of books that have transgender characters, if you want to say that, most seem to be biographies. They seem to be about... The transition process and for many of us that's just not something we want to read all the time it's very handy very helpful I've read many of them myself but I also wanted something where being trans is not the full story that there's a story backing that and that's what we have with Lexi Moreau so I hope you'll consider making the purchase it combines this um, you know, the, the experience of being a trans person along with these supernatural elements 
of, you know, witches, demons, and, and these epic battles. Um, I, I hope that that's something that you'll consider. It is currently $12.99 for the paperback on Amazon. Again, I will provide the link. It is available worldwide distribution, but I'll provide the U.S. link, and if you need any other link um, for a different part of the world, the United Kingdom, etc., please feel free to leave a comment, and I'll be more than happy to update the, des the, the description to include that. But I hope you'll consider. I don't normally push product on my channel, but this is something that came directly from the heart of me. I'm not pushing anything for someone else. This was the creation um, of my own hands, and I'm actually very proud of that. And I hope you'll consider making the purchase of The Grove by Ariane C. Childry. So, again, I'll have the link in the description. Thank you for joining me for the video. As always, my quote from Kesha don't let the bastards get you down. Enjoy and do something productive. If you're going to be stuck at home, make it a productive time. Do something that you never thought you'd do. You want to get healthy, get on an exercise regimen. You want to, you know, experience more photography. You have a lot of public places with parks and etc. that you can go with social distancing, and I always encourage mask use. We use them all the time when we're in public and social distancing isn't possible and I encourage the same for you but you know and if you want to write take the opportunity to write maybe it won't turn out to be anything the first book I wrote took 10 years and the sales on it which it is available but I'm not gonna plug that book um, have not done that wonderfully but if it's a passion keep pushing for it keep trying I hope you'll enjoy this. It touches home, especially in our community, um, our little channel where we have a lot of uh, trans viewers, myself being trans, of course, if you've watched my previous videos. So I hope you'll enjoy this. And um, that's pretty much it. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Don't let the bastards get you down. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and stay safe.